Hi, it's Mrs. Singley here to talk about Bossy R. Now, you have already heard about Bossy R when we did AR, which says R. Do you remember that? Sure you do. We're going to talk about other vowels besides A that also have Bossy R. Some of them are E-R, I-R, U-R, and O-R. And I made a tree map here. We'll talk about those in a minute. And I'm going to show you some fun games to get you going on your Bossy R's. So Bossy R here is saying, I boss the vowels and control the sound, but I'm polite and let them go first. So the vowel is going first and then the R. So AR, as you know, says R. Now the next three are challenging. They all say the same thing. Er, er, and er. That makes it tricky, which is why it's so important for us to learn the sounds and how to spell them. So this week when you are reading, you are going to see different patterns of R. You will have to do lots of practicing, which will help you be a better reader for the R sound and also a better speller. Practice makes perfect. Now OR sounds a little different. OR says OR. So let's look at these now. So AR is a review. Remember, AR is R, like in star, shark, heart. ER says er, like soccer, germ, feather. IR says er, like girl, shirt, bird. U R also says er and says purse, turtle, curtain, and then O R says or, like in corn and horn. Hey, those are rhyming words. Now, I'm going to show you some posters here I found. Here's Mossy R. And this is OR. You can see lots of OR words. And I like that it also has pictures. This one is bossy IR. And you can see bird and skirt, twirl. This one over here is our AR, which says R, like barn, shark, and so on. Here's bossy ER. We have germ flower, sister, and then our last one is you are. Bossy you are says er, like in curl, hurt, nurse, and so on. Okay, with the resource I sent your parents, you can print these um, R controlled words and we can sort them, which was a a strategy we used in Wonders last week. So we're going to sort our R's, O-R, U-R, I-R, E-R, and A-R, and you have to read them and put them in the pocket chart. So if we were at school, I'd pass them out and you would get to put them in the chart. You can just lay them on your table or you can lay them on the floor. My first one is O-R, torn, and that goes with O-R. Next one is hurt, and that goes with you are. Then I have germ, that goes with er. I have a horn, that's or again. This is herb, he goes with er. So you're sorting your cards and practicing your reading. You can also use these cards in a game called Go Fish, and I'm going to teach you that. Hey, here's 
one game that you can play, and I'm sending this to your mom and dad's email. It's called Bossier Bingo. Now, you need some coins. I use pennies and dimes. I felt like that was the easiest thing to use, but you can also use other items to mark your spot. You also need a dice, or you can make a homemade spinner. I showed you this on another game. It's a circle. You cut it in half, and then you do a V, and then an upside down V, and then number from one to six. Now if you use the spinner, you put a clip in the middle, hold with a pencil, and then spin. Ooh, I got the line, so I go again. Five. Ah, uh, if you get a five on the Bossy R Bingo Sheet, it says O-R, or. You have to pick any O-R word and read it. Okay, so I'm gonna see who goes first by rolling the dice. Mr. Singley and I are using dice instead of the spinner. I got six. He got five. I go first. Okay, here we go. One. One is AR. So I'm going to pick an AR word. I'll pick far. And I put my dime on it. Mr. Singley's turn. He has two. He has to do an ER word and read it. Jerk. Okay, now the idea is, is to get six in a row. You get six in a row going across, down, or diagonal this way, or this way. Okay, my turn. Three is IR. I'm going to say, girl, I'm hoping to go this way and hoping that Mr. Singley doesn't block me. Three is IR. An I I word. Thirst. Thirst. He said it correctly. I might need to block him down here. Six. Ooh, I get to pick a word and I'm going to say this one. O R. Or. One. A R. Pick an A R word. Ert. No. You got that wrong. That's not ert. Uh oh. That's art. You ah. can't put it on there. Darn it. I think you get the idea. Thank you. Okay, we're going to play another game called Go Fish. And this is a free resource, and I sent the link to your parents. There's actually several games, and I'll show you a couple others. Now, this game, we have pictures with a bossy R's, and Mr. Singley's going to get five, and I get five. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, and one more. That will make five each. Now, once you look at your cards, you want to put them together by like um, bossy R's. For example, I have three URs. So I'm going to put those together and decide who's going to go first. I'll let Mr. Singley go first. Now, if you have three or more of the same bossy R, you get to lay down. And at the very end of the game, whoever has the most piles is the winner. Do you lay down after I fish? Well, if you have, do you have three or more of the same bossy R? Yes. Ooh, you may lay down. Ooh. Ooh! No, be careful, Mr. Singley. Cork, short, and torn. Ooh, did you hear Mr. Singley reading his words? He got three in a row. So now, it's my turn. I also have three in a row. I have you are burn. Turn, fur. Okay, Mr. Singley, do you have another set? No, but can I lay down on your set? You cannot. You can't lay down on my set. So, so now you can ask me 
for a bossy R you want, or you can draw from the pile. I'm fishing for a bossy AR. I do not have AR, so go fish. Okay, do you have an IR? No, I do not. Go fish. Okay. Whoops, I took too many. Okay. Do you have a bossy ER? Oh, I do. Here you go. Thank you. Uh-oh, can you lay down? No. Okay. My turn. Is that right? Yep. Okay, do you have an IR? I do not. Go fish. Oh. Okay. Do you have a UR? No, I do not. Go fish. So if I have another OR, can I continue to lay down on my already laid down pile? I'm going to say yes. Do I do that now or when it's my turn? When again? it's your turn again. Okay. Do you have an AR? I do. Yeah, I get to lay down again. I got two piles now. Okay, so. I think you have the idea. In addition to the Go Fish game, you can find this resource also on the link I sent called Four in a Row, practicing your um, R, your bossy R's. And here's another one. This one is, oh no, it's Bossy R, and it's a game board. So you can also find this resource on the link. Lots of fun games for you to choose from. Have fun with Bossy R.